The owner stopped the judge in about 10 minutes of presentation. The guy done 15 to 20 stoppages. And the rambo the fiber. I'm the jogger the fiber, man. The dream sky. Hmm. I'm gonna cap it. The jogger the fiber, man. The jogger the fiber. Ah, the other rambo the fiber. I'm gonna need to die. That's not fiber internet. You know, I'm going to show you sky in about 10 minutes. I had about 20 stoppages. So now I'm back on fiber. I don't expect uh, to see any stoppages anymore. Uh, thanks for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am back uh, with this, with fiber internet. So I'm going to show you a piece of Ona diri ora iro vano garamu diri o diri ora rumbanje vano garam diri o diri ora iro vano garam diri o ora rumbanje vano garam diri o vako mana vano garam diri o diri ora rumbanje vano garam diri o musa tambe na vo vano garam diri o diri ora rumbanje. Ano garam diro diro ora vago mana diro ora rembanje vano garam diro diro ora iro vano garam diro diro ora rembanje vano garam diro vago mana vano garam diro diro ora rembanje vano garam diro musa tambe na vo. Vano garam diro diro ora rembanje vano garam diro diro ora vago mana diro ora rembanje vano garam diro ora vano garam diro ora vano garam diro ora anza kumana vano garam diro ora diro ora rembanje we are back on fiber welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome back um kuma manu. Ah, Sky Internet. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I saw your tender. I'm going to go. I saw your tender. So I'm back to fiber. Fiber move away, away. No stoppage yet. Or I don't expect any stoppage until I finish. So I don't want to, um, but to go into details of the internet. Let me go straight into the the topic of today. The topic of today is to encourage Zimbabweans, whether you are in our country. Or whether you are outside the country, what we need uh, as Zimbabweans is to confront the cancer uh, that has engulfed our country. Uh, we have got an organized crime uh, system in our country which we need uh, to tackle as a nation. At the moment, we are tackling uh, the monster in different corners. Uh, some are tackling the monster within Zanupiev. Some are tackling the monster outside Zanupia. And we have been in opposition telling the people that, look, we have got a monster or a cancer uh, that uh, we call organized crime in our country. Example of organized crime in our country is the gold mafia, which has been uh, exposed by the Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera document one, two, three. So far, we have seen all, all three documents and only one left. By now, if you are a Zimbabwean, a true Zimbabwean, with the passion, a patriotic Zimbabwean, you would know the cancer I am talking about. The cancer is, is in our country is the organized crime, where uh, this organized crime is being done in our country with the blessings of the executive branch of government. When we say the executive branch of government, we mean the president himself. He has given uh, this organized crime in our country some blessings. They operate without fear. They know if you owe the president, if you give the president anything, or if you take the president of a country abroad, no one is going to help you. As, as a result, there are a lot of untouchable individuals in our country who are committing crimes on daily basis and they use <coughs> the president's name so crime uh, in our country 
to be honest with you, crime in our country is destined to fade away. Crime in Zimbabwe is destined to fade away. The only way this crime is going to fade away is the 2023 general election which is approaching, the harmonized election which is approaching. My nunu, ziri say mwana wa mai, atete ili nchukumira, ziri ufambaere. I've got this uh, interesting topic tonight that we want to talk. Unfortunately, when I came first, when I first came, uh, I had uh, internet problem, but now solved. I'm back uh, to the fiber internet. Uh, Zimbabwe is going to become a, a, a normal state. I know people might be doubting that, oh, uh, this, this Zimbabwe, uh, Zimbabwe, I end up to a point of no return. No, 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 no. The country is not at a point of no return. The country is going to uh, be back to back to normal uh, very soon. As long as you guys, as long as you guys, you Zimbabweans, do the right thing. There is a right thing that is waiting to be done. 2023 harmonized election is the sweetest news to any Zimbabwean around the world. You know, this is your opportunity uh, to change the government. This is your opportunity to make sure that the corruption the fades away. This is the opportunity to ensure that organized crime in our country and our region fades away. It only fades away when you participate in an election. 2023 election is, uh, is key uh, to end uh, this organized crime. A good example, the gold mafia. This is the operation of a really organized crime. If you look at the gold mafia, you, you, you know that the Macmillan, uh, the Rootlands, they told you that we control 90% of the government decision, which makes it a mafia. A gang of gold smugglers controlling 90% of your government. Munanga got to make the matters worse. The executive branch leader Atede Julie, Zuri say monoma, Juliet Ngandu, Zuri Fambere, Uri say monoma. So, to make matters worse, the executive branch leader, who is the president of the country, came out or said he has got 240 million for elections only. Uh, this money is not coming from ZANU PF, this money is not coming from government. This money is coming from the, the proceeds of uh, organized crime. These are proceeds that the president of a country share from organized crime. Um, I think Kutwita people are overreacting uh, to what uh, uh, Mugudeni Hoyo said. Uh, the people are overreacting. People are attacking uh, Dodi People are overreacting. People are attacking Dodi Hopo. Guys, people do not understand. Daddy Hopo Shingono is not a triple C activist. No, 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 no. You guys, you, you are taking it wrong. He is different from Shepard. And you know Shepard Yuda is a, is a triple C activist. Hopo Shingono is a journalist. Is not a triple C activist. If we do something wrong, Hopo Shingono is obliged to report what we do wrong. Because we want to form a government, a government without organized criminals or organized crimes. We want a government to form a government that will ensure all the corruption in our country fades away. So if he attacks one of us or if he attacks any politician in our country, we should not take it upon ourselves. It is time to reflect. Let's reflect. On what did Hope watching on the road? Because you cannot hurry to attack him without considering what he has said. You understand? There is a strong reason why he has said that. So for us to go and attack Hope watching on, because he has said something not uh, to our flavor, uh, it's, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. This is time to reflect than attack. He has said something. What did he say? How best can we 
uh, implement or do things that are being suggested. Jijaru suggests he's a journalist. He has done a lot of investigations. At the charity, how are you? He has done a lot of uh, investigations. He's a, a, an investigative journalist. He has done a lot. So we need to listen than to attack. Uh, unfortunately, we have got uh, people who say they know everything. Uh, we can't be attacked. We can't be criticized. We can't do this. As a political party, a new entity, we must be uh, criticized. We must, we, because we are learning in the political arena. We have got no experience about that. So we are getting into the political arena. We are being attacked. We are being uh, criticized. Let's take constructive criticism. To me, what he said is constructive uh, criticism that when we are criticized, we should go on a round table, sit down and bring all the ideas together. Where did we go wrong? What are we supposed uh, to be doing so that all those who are looking at us they look at us as progressive people rather than kutiwe imbwa dzinongo ruma and imona tingo ruma vanhu nekuti ninge ataura ati nanenge ataura zvatisingade isusu toenda tono ruma we are not being fair at the juli to be honest with you mwana wamai i ina ndroe mbwa ndaka viga mpini where we are wrong we are wrong we should not attack a journalist because ataura kanda anyora zvatisingade kunzwa no 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 Anga nyore every time that all those really sweet to our ears. But Zagadaru we relax. So we don't want to see politicians relaxing. We don't want to relax. We want to work to make sure that we clinch the power come 2023 a general election. Guys, let's reflect on what did Hupo Shingono wrote. And Ibona. <coughs> because the organized crime, this cancer we call organized crime destroyed our country. It really destroyed Zimbabwe. Uh, when ZANU-PF came into power in 1980, people thought they were under experimental democracy. They were experimenting policies. They were trying to, to, to find somewhere to stand so that they can govern a country. But instead of finding uh, somewhere to stand, they chose a path that destroyed Zimbabwe. Their experiments uh, introduced corruption. Kubakuna na wilo veo skandao. Wana Frederick Shaw wachi variruo. Wana gumbo wachi zura ya. Wana nya gumbo waya. These people were like introduced. Corruption was creeping, creeping in. Introducing corruption bit by bit. Block by block. Brick by brick. Until they have a firm foundation of corruption in our country which we today we call cancer of organized crime. Zimbabwe is, is a country, is a nation that is under attack from this cancer of organized crime. The gold mafia you witnessed in four series from Al Jazeera, this is a cancer that I'm saying as a nation we have or we need to confront it uh, to make sure that it fades away. People were asking us, asking very uh, different questions. Why? Uh, well, how is this um, uh, organized crime destined uh, to fade away? The one thing that I've stated here is that we are having a 2023 general or harmonized election, which you are given an opportunity to end this organized crime. If you are a Zimbabwean, a patriotic Zimbabwean, take this opportunity to say, can I answer number voter? I need to go and vote so that this organized crime fades away. Crime in our country has eclipsed everything or has eclipsed most other domestic preoccupations in our country. Crime, organized crime, has overshadowed any other decision that uh, needs to be done uh, for our country uh, to go forward. Much of Zimbabwe now is anxiously searching for an answer. You, you are Searching for an answer. I am searching for an answer. The question is here. To it organized crime cancer in our country. This cancer of organized crime in our country. The cancer introduced by ZANU PF through their experimental democratic policies, which has uh, promoted corruption. Uh, today that corruption has turned into cancer, which is now which we call now organized crime. Even Varakashi, all those 
Barakashi was sent by AED and the likes of Wana Benson Martin Rarire, uh, who are the Warakash analysts. They've considered, they've considered, considered uh, that the Zimbabwe gold mafia crime is more significant uh, than they thought. Initially, they were against uh, the arrests, uh, they were against the freezing of uh, their assets, they were against a lot of things. One question that I had last time is, you know, when you are a critical analyst, you need to look at different things. I was looking at why is the Zimbabwe Reserve mm -hmm. or the government of the Reserve Bank freezing their assets? Because as far as I understand, uh, this cancer of organized crimes, it, it over so a, a system where gold was smuggled into Dubai and the bags of money and the red tape of diplomats uh, by the likes of man of God, uh, we, which we which we uh, changed into man of gold, uh, you bet angel, you will just stick a red tape that this bag is diplomatic. No one will touch the bag until he gets home with 1.2 billion in that bag. You understand? So most of the transactions that were done uh, by this uh, gold gold mafia were transaction done uh, through cash and gold. And gold is a good case. It's 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 a good case. You understand? Saga, if they freeze even their assets, money is a good case. Money is obvious. This money is laundered money, which cannot be banked. When they need to bank it, they need to put it through the laundry to be clean money. So this, this money is never found their ways into the reserve bank or into their accounts. They were just coming in and going out. But you know, banga kunze kwe nyika, kunana Swiss bank in zimwe nyika, ndo kune ma accounts au. Mzimbabu kana jifri ziru. Bank ni arati, yes. What do you think they, they've done? You see? So, we are searching for an answer. We are anxious, anxiously searching for an answer. As I've stated earlier on, even Warakashi now, They've uh, considered that uh, this issue is significant and they want uh, the likes of Hubert Angel arrested. They want them prosecuted. But is that going to bring our man home? So as a nation, Zimbabweans, we need to confront this cancer of uh, organized crime in our country. It's a sort of institutionalized. It's a really institutionalized. And it has been done and restrained for years and years. Corruption became part of E.D. Munangagwa and his government. E.D. is the, is the leader of the executive branch. He has allowed this corruption to materialize in our country unrestrained to the extent that even under corruption now, they do it in the name of the president. And that is the, not the, that is the person Zanu PF has fronted to you to say, if you want a president, uh, vote Emerson Mnangagwa. So, considering all what he did, especially with this gold mafia, where his office, his president, his executive powers are being used by criminals to launder Zimbabwe money, or to, 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 to launder, or to steal our natural resources. So, what do we need to do as a country, as a nation? We need, as a country, as a nation to confront this cancer because Munangagwa himself is the is the cancer to corruption. Munangagwa himself has become cancer to the nation where every criminal uses his name, uses his office to make sure that the, our monies are laundered, drugs, drug trafficking. Remember when the soldier love died, I had a live on Facebook. I was the first person to condemn soldier love but i was attacked in Ivarakashi, friends and relatives of soldier love unfortunately the zimbabwe government is buried him as a hero to me i don't see anyone engaging or, or buying or selling or using drugs as a hero to me because he is showing our youth very bad things people attacked me when i said that i said he cannot be a role model you cannot take a druggist or a drug trafficker and say a drug dealer is a role model in our country. 
I asked you guys, what were you championing during that time? Now I think you can now see why I was condemning that. Why I was condemning that. Drug trafficking is another way ZANU PF have ways are surviving in our country. Imagine trafficking drugs. One of them was arrested in Chipinge with the loads and loads of drugs which has been trafficking, which has been uh, dousing the people of Zimbabwe. Wafana, lagustika ne mtoriro. Wasted, wasted workforce. You understand? So, I condemned uh, Soja Love myself. And the people, they called me all sorts of names. But they are the same people now crying about drug trafficking. When Soja Love was being buried, you saw commuter omen bus carrying Zanu PF people with the sex of Mbanje, I shoot on much of powder. I don't deny you in Banje. You see, what is it? It's deep. So, the executive branch of Zimbabwe has been used as cancer of organized crime, even drug trafficking. We saw drugs in the streets of Zimbabwe. You saw the Zanu PF youth, which seems a saga in Banji, which is a saga in Banji. You saw the Zanu PF youth, We saw Mari being changed by black market. You understand? So this executive uh, branch or the office of president has become cancer of organized crime. Has become uh, uh, cancer itself. The office of president has become cancer itself. And this these drug traffickers they are fronting Ed Munangagwa to be president of the country. These money launderers they want Ed Munangagwa to be president of the country. So this is where the issue about destroying uh, the legacy of uh, 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 of, uh, of uh, new dispensation. How is crime uh, gonna be destined to fed? The 2023 elections are key to do away with Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa and you see uh, Zimbabwe is organized crime who fade away. Because what we call organized crime here is you saw man laundering, Al Jazeera showing you. We saw half ways, Zanu PF, half ways, uh, aspiring candidates in Zanu PF who are engaged in uh, drug trafficking. We have seen a lot of cases of extortion in our country, even murder. We have seen murder in our country. People being marcheted by Zanu PF because they want Idi Mnangagwa to be president. Stopping Triple C from holding rallies to inform people what are, what their policies are and what they are going gonna do uh, to win these elections. Wapenza kudaru, wano yagwa muru wajita wadu chamisa ana plani. Wano yagwa muru wajita wadu ina manifesto. So I was asking another one person that if we talk about political manifesto, political manifesto does not need to be a written document. Does not need to be a written document. I was, uh, I referred him, could we are England, Britain, I in a written constitution. England, you know, you got to get in a written constitution. I a, but they run their country effectively. Why do Zanu PF want a written manifesto from Triple C? Why is ANUPF demanding uh, my, my structures a triple C? Second, I start wrong one because the society is going. Mugans go on and go on a bonga, but it's our good to the mass structures. What already can our room triple C? You know why? Singa singa the politics is on. We are two different political parties. We have got ideal two different ideologies. They follow communism. Or which communists or which comrades, which are which are no follower, which which was in your period not more communists. Was they are not communists? We know these are capitalists. And the man, but a system of government, yahu, is in a system of government. Yedo, our president has got his own system of management. <coughs> they have got their system of management. This is why you see when they are frustrated, when they don't understand what we are doing. In the political arena, they go to kill people, they murder people. And the one, Chihure, Chai Chai, one of the two million cards went under my hood. The cards is on. Maganza, Chiang, Wash Taurus, Ganz Madara, 
uchinto mwona ishto peza ni mkazo wako au mvunzo ndo mvunzo wa shifu ndo kupereke za ele ndo mpereke za kumburisa mba mako mwa mbata ni mkazo wako ndi mkazo wako wako ni kumuramba mtaro kwa saka muramba you say that no raisa murume kandu ye mkazi ya no rao saka you see this, these are elements these are like uh, events which marks organized crime in our country ma gangsters atuta wala ya madara ikutanzu no mbata ni mkazi wako wa mvunze Noti mapeza ya reshefu, ee, eh, upeza umperike za kumotu karo enda. Kwa zogoda razi mai giza hitu norara. You don't, you don't ask your wife why. <coughs> Ongo shirara ni mdaro. And imona. So you will see that even prostitution is rife when a country is got an organized uh, uh, crime. The country, the, the, the prostitution is rife. Kwa nama bank frauds, anu hitu kwa ipapo, apere. Is the reserve bank ya ya, eh, aisina mari ya ya, marise zaka toro. Ukada kufunza wana temba mulisu wana washita noise mpana wa washita noise temba. Mufunze hii. Ane maria kapu wane reserve bank. Ya asina kata watumbo zosera. Wana justice malawa. They cannot rule otherwise. Wana ma thousands and thousands. Five hundred thousand ya kapu wa justice malawa. E, ne reserve bank. Achinzi. E, ma, 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 ma decisions. Ako yewewe. Esa hawa. Zanu PFI fani kuruza any decision. Saka. He cannot rule otherwise. Justice Malawa can't rule otherwise. When I'm released from Malawa, they can't be independent because they were given money. Ms. Anu PF, Maria Ivangu Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Up to now, Maria Zuzwa has now got Zorero. So this organized crime, it is the organized crime that he has seen Zimbabwe losing to about 17.5 billion annually. Maria is supposed to have been invested in our country. Imagine Yesterday I was talking to a friend of mine who went to bury um, his mom in Zimbabwe. He is residing in South Africa. His mom died early this month. So he went, he came from South Africa, last month, he came from South Africa, went to bury his mom. And up in the Gamai, and the Kurosh took his shepherd, and the Gatagan boat driver around Stunguiza. And the emote in Jimbo. Uh, and then they carry four by four. And the chitungu is a as a whole, a kusina kune road. You can you can drive twenty miles an hour. Mchitungu is a muro aina road. You go to no one on twenty miles an hour. So you see that uh, that is a country losing about seventeen point five billion annually to organized crime like the gold mafia. If we had to invest seventeen point five billion annually. For the past 20 years, in Zimbabwe, Yagapura, Dubai. By now, Zimbabwe, in Gadari, is the best country probably in the world. Tine, my new buildings, tine, my roads, my latest, my modern roads. You're going to farm the motor, when you're going to farm the carpet. But 17.5 billion Zimbabwe is losing to these, to these organized uh, criminals. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's blood, loads of money. Saka Tukuru Zamario Ichienda due to an restrained institutional organized crime which is, which is done in the president's office or the executive branch of the country uh, uh, is giving blessings to this organized crime. And Imona. Saka, these are the things uh, ladies and gentlemen, we should explore uh, as Zimbabweans because organized crime now, uh, uh, Zimbabwe as a country, ya nika yekuti yaka pindwa ni matsotsi yaka pindwa. These are non world criminals who are milking this uh, country uh, uh, natural resources. A country we passionately fought for. A country we passionately love. A country that we, you are proud to identify, to identify yourself as a Zimbabwean. Ukafamba panzaba mnagaku vunza, you proudly say, I am a Zimbabwean. Because by saying that, it shows you love your country. You love your home. You are patriotic. And you passionately, you passionately love Zimbabwe uh, to be a, a prosperous country. But <clears throat> the problem that we have 
as this impenetrable uh, organized crime uh, that you have seen uh, being done by the executive branch of the country. So let's give it off to Al Jazeera for showing us this uh, document, documentary. This documentary is just a way of showing you uh, it's an eyes it's a, it's a, what do you call that eyes eyes top but it's just the tip of the iceberg there's a lot of things that are happening in our country a lot of corruption that is going on unrestrained because the corruption is brewed in the executive branch in the president's office so as a result Al Jazeera was trying to make sense of this tangled criminal web we find in Zimbabwe, which has ensured or ens ens ensnared the head of state, the government, and the entire security uh, services. The entire security services has been ensnared by this uh, uh, organized crime. So Al Jazeera is just trying to show you the tip of the iceberg. ZANU-PF now is trying to scare every a person to say don't talk about this Al Jazeera, don't talk about gold mafia, don't talk about this. They have even gone to the extent of threatening uh, um, journalists to say we'll lock you up if we hear you talking about this uh, gold mafia. But the same people now, they are bringing uh, the, 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 the leader of the executive branch to you to say this is the best president you must vote. You are gay, benefiting none, nothing out of the 17.5 billion being lost from our country annually. What are you benefiting? And what are your reasons for voting Mdara um, Dambuzo? And on. Ugaona baba na mai waka kubereka waka kupasare kutu Dambuzo. Wazo kura uwe Dambuzo yue utambu zavano enyika. Zaiwe nechirevo. Ama zita angu piwi. Master Angu Pi with Pi and and I'm just going to my love. No fungus and root are as nonsense to the people of Zimbabwe. Because I can't find love and likes. A panaga na munarugu and rugu na one. say, are you paying attention to what I'm teaching or what I'm preaching? Or guys or murugu tandara zeni? Because when I go deep, guys, I explain real things that Zimbabweans need to uh, to to take note of. Especially when we say we need to confront this cancer uh, of organized crime in our country. I know that you are deeply involved in this topic, but ladies and gentlemen, Mbozungu Zika Igatimbona, as we are listening, thank you, my Nuno. But then I'm going to love, I don't love, I don't like. They can't end up by a move, but I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, continue to say Al Jazeera has tried to make sense of this tangled criminal web which enslaved even the, the, the head of state and the entire security forces. But this is why you see ZANU-PF Varakashi, ZANU-PF and its Varakashi, even the spokesperson of the government, uh, George Charamba, has even angrily threatened uh, Zimbabweans. He has become... Uh, um, uh, um, abusive even in tone against journalists for trying to uh, talk about Al Jazeera has threatened them who will lock you who will lock you up and uh, they accuse us of being biased to Zanu PF honestly how can a, a normal human being seeing this gold mafia documentary having known that is an UPF has used uh, these people to buy them fleet of vehicles to murder innocent Zimbabweans. Every time we go into an election, then people, they say, if you comment about that, you are biased. You are biased. These are ridiculous allegations, ladies and gentlemen. We have never been biased to an UPF. But their manifesto, the written manifesto, because every time we go into an election, when I'm not going to what they produce a written manifesto, which they promise you, which they sell to you, to say Mukati Votera Mimi for the next five years, Chawaga 1.5 million houses, so that we accommodate or we alleviate 
the uh, uh, the housing shortage in our country. Now, mnanga kwa 35 years probably I paid around the chi. Now we are in in 2023, five years since uh, five years after uh, the 2018 elections. If you go with a pen, take Zanu PF manifesto to Mnangagwa and ask him what is he fulfilled since 2018. Apana, uh, chata ndege. Imagine the jet no chat from Dubai to come to Zimbabwe. You can also talk president from Harare to Gweru, who is officially open a college or any other Gramochari in Gweru. You talk about president from Gweru to Harare. You fly all the way to Dubai. Uh, uh, this is a jet that flies for about uh, 12,000 US dollars an hour, which flies from Dubai without anyone in it, just a pilot. Uh, of Lord uh, to come land at Arare International Airport, then the president is escorted from uh, from State House into that plane, flies that plane to Gweru, uh, just officially open a college, then fly back into Harare, then that plane will take off empty back to Dubai. How much money has been lost by uh, chartering that plane? A private jet from Dubai to take president from Harare. Imagine it doesn't make sense. These are pair of people. When that is happening, it will be under our eyes. We will see everything happening. When we are towards election, they take such an incompetent man as the head of the executive branch and go all over the country. Uh, selling that incompetent person uh, to you, Zimbabwe, and to say, this is your president. So I am saying, if we are patriotic, if we want to see this organized crime fade away, uh, honestly, don't buy that hogwash to say such an incompetent man who charters a private jet from Dubai just to take him from Harare to Guero and Guero to Harare, the, a journey of less than an hour by plane, uh, then you pay 24,000 US dollars. They are bringing that man to you to say this is our presidential candidate and can you vote for Emerson Mnangagwa? The answer should be no to Zimbabweans. ZANU PF, once they fueled him, ZANU PF must lose this money. It must lose this money. Because there is no sin in Zimbabwean who put an X on Emerson Mnangagwa, fully aware about the gold mafia, fully aware about the lost 15 billion in diamonds, fully aware about all the murders that were committed in our country, even if we take him back to Gukura Wund era. You understand? So if you are a patriotic Zimbabwe, if you love your country, if you are proud of Zimbabwe, this, is, this 2023 must be your year of saying enough is enough and vote Emerson Nambuzomnangagwa and ZANU-PF system out of power so that we introduce a new government, a new system and everything. And there is talk about postponing elections. Uh, that is unconstitutional. Mkoma Sid in Chingea. Zek was given enough time to prepare everything. So if they try to postpone election whilst Zek was given ample time to do this then we need to take it upon ourselves as the people of a country to make sure that ZANU PF does not govern beyond 2023 without the people's mandate our constitution is the supreme law no one should breach the constitution this is why I am saying as a nation we need to look for a way uh, to confront uh, this system uh, this cancer of misgovernance, of this cancer of organized crime, if they postpone the election, we need to be on the streets. Because the country will be left without a president. So it's either we demand an interim executive to run the country, prepare the delimination, and prepare the election without the influence of the government. If that has to happen, 
we need to give the country to be run by certain people without a president. Both the president's mandate will have expired. The cabinet, I mean the, 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 the parliament's mandate will have expired. There are no laws that can be passed uh, during that era. Both the constitution of the country states that that parliament cannot be extended beyond that. So if it means uh, that elections are postponed, then there will be no government in Zimbabwe. There will be no parliament in our country. No banango is prepared to tease. So can root our red wagumana. Nigga ya uya, Zimbabwe ya uya. It's all up to you to make sure with Zimbabwe ya uya. Sorry for a feedback. Uh, last time I was supposed to bring uh, Honorable uh, Da Williams Nyanga live on Facebook. And not end our wagan wagan contributor. But I got forty pounds when our contributor. And then the gas send at third. So, the system is prison. You know, they need to verify this, they need to verify that. I spoke to his wife, and did Maria Geno reflect on a Saturday with Maria Gaviswa, but by Wednesday, I send another day. Do my days, I want to reflect on Maria. So this is why last time Taka Fela Kunza Da Williams live on Facebook. But as soon as his monies are confirmed, he's going to call. We are going to have to have him live on Facebook. And Ufunga Man is on Because people might be asking why it's now so it's live. Because Maria is not going to be a pair of Pagan Funera. You understand? Saka, when we contribute to Maria Zao. And the Gator and the Sender, Guna Da Williams, Sagata Gomira, would can I confirm or the Anayo, Anot Foner, and then it was opinda. And in that time, you would have a phone and why time you have phone, I'll go straight live on Facebook. But no one moves watch Taura Ega Da Williams. Saga, ladies and gentlemen, we are towards 2023 general election. So, so she wrote our guns and I'm going to postpone my elections. I got postponed that will be our opportunity uh, to go into the streets and demand an interim government. Is in any Zanu PF that will elect Kanamogana elect a Nini and Gandhi Kumbirewa and Zimbabwe? Would Ganaya interim government in English that president is a boy's eye in in Nubuktonga for that period? Gushka Pave, Sunuza Gazikana, Nikayaku Dase, Nikayaku Pua. I go into my elections. I go into my elections. Watch how Mr. Wawina Twitter end over. Kune the winner. Saka for the time being, kada kwa nzuko ato postpone my elections. Pane mbago da mu mu nu asne nje gaw. Nde saka I I would rather propose with mu boy say nin pa interim government yo yo. No botonga ti change zin. Imagine na ita rane mu mu nde gadi uno zau do ane Zimbabwe waga femero. Over what do you do in Bovia, in Botonga, until uh, my elections? Because when we take over that governance, it must go for six months. Uh, for six months, to find a way to ready for elections. Saga, Mugandipa ni ni masimba six months. No Botonga, wanamnanga go wachinu kambina. Wanachama msa wachinu kambina ugo. To end my elections, a winner. To end end over. Kuna president, chama msa pawaninge wa winner. I think that will be splendid. That will be wonderful. Munenge muri ma safe hands. The country will be in the safe hands. And na ropa mawakwangu. Anava nambu uraya munu. Anava nambu onetana ne munu. Saka munenge muri ma safe hands. Mawakwenyu. Saka, I've never beaten anyone in the nation politics. And the mona. So, the physical assaults that you have seen happening in our country. This chilling physical assaults that you see people are subjected to uh, especially my journalists uh, my political activists they are being subjected to physical torture physical violence frightening them not to uh, to participate in politics frightening journalists not to write uh, to write about uh, this uh, mafia thing uh, trying to make journalists self censor before they speak before they say anything to the public that is not acceptable. When I become your president on interim basis, 
then I will make sure that the freedom of speech, the constitution is fully put in operational and the police work according to the constitution, the army work according to the constitution, all the security sectors work according to the constitution. Because if you look in what I'm saying, Dara Dambuzo, where two minutes, you can tell that this born was this man was born an extortionist. This born was this born this man was born as a killing machine. What I'm talking about, one of those guys that are to come he's a, a killing machine and it's more legendary uh, gangster of all time. Saga, we need to do away with that. We need to remove gangsterism in our country. We need to make sure that corruption is eradicated. We need to make sure that organized crime fades away. If you give me that country for six months, definitely I will ensure that the rule of law returns to our country. And I'll ensure that preparations of an election, a free and fair election, will be underway. So, postponement of the election, it will be a blessing in disguise that will, will usher a new, a new, a new era. And you know, I will usher a new era. In it, I'm prepared, I'm patriotic to Zimbabwe. I'm very patriotic to that country. I love my country. I love Zimbabwe. And look near Perai. Can I bana nyike and all love? As Zimbabwe, I love it. This is where I was born, guys. This is where I grew up. And the name when you can do Zimbabwe, the Nika Yangui. No, 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 And it's more. Sakana Tap, election is postponed because of the elimination. That will be opportunity for you guys to make Shepard. The, the, the interim president of Zimbabwe. I'll be the interim president of Zimbabwe. And I'll pose and he's tainted. And in a maunga hunga yagun zakat. Sagandrombo move I for six months to prepare a free and fair election where a, a, a free and fair environment is created for you guys to go wherever you want to go. Campaign, support a team of your choice, go vote uh, on the voting day. Person as a good charter up a polling station, my results over and one, my garamuri posenu, my results and over and one mupi, one wenda kumba, most of the free and fair elections has been held in our country, and so and so is the winner of that day, that, that, that election. And did them all. Bagaoma. Saga, why I'm saying this, currently, if you look at the setup of Zimbabwe government, the executive branch led by Idim Nangago, nor the highest ranking office in our country. That is the same office a gold mafia is operating from. And they are they amazed illegally, illegitimately, a lot of wealth. And this wealth has been earned illegitimately. Because everything I did my no numerusega. Do not tell Raymond or my could embondipai Zimbabwe for six months. Mono no prepare Ichi election it is free and fair. It would a winner we end over the power. Muna wina iye and wam just won out Kanata. Our electors refrain fair. Zimbabwe will move forward. But as we as we see today, if you look at a large percentage of EDS government, a large percentage of EDS world, or they've got this suspicion, suspicious origins. Gwana tasa ma minister ake mnanga gwa nasi. Gwana ufunzo alu wae mnanga gwa. Aka apu inda this munu as minister. Uno supesi rao kuna wati pangu mwana wa ningo wake. Pangu mwana wa shamari yake. So it's a government made up of friends and relatives. It's not a government for our country. Which government is illegitimately uh, uh, running down uh, or illegitimately earning a lot of wealth from our natural resources which are supposed to benefit uh, the nation. So vast amounts of uh, world uh, they are feeding vast amounts of Zimbabwe world 
I feed in Dubai while Zimbabweans are struggling. A lot of money, uh, Zimbabwe money, Zimbabwe natural resources are busy building Dubai while Zimbabwe is stagnant. And we should do this, I was road. And we should do this, I was road. And the mona, our revenue is being sent to Dubai to build Dubai. Hmm? Ah, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. I didn't want to Could I that the gold mafia is illegitimately earning a wealth from your resources, Zimbabwe resources. And a large uh, amount of those resources or their earnings are bees building to buy. People in Dubai are being fed, are being fed by your, 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 your natural resources. You are starving. You don't have a working health system. You don't have a working, uh, you don't have infrastructure in your country, no health, no education. Nothing is working at the moment. Your natural resources are busy feeding Chinese. Your natural resources are busy feeding Dubai, your natural resources, the wealth of your country is developing Dubai instead of developing Zimbabwe. If I was president of Zimbabwe, I would love to see people visiting Zimbabwe as a wonder nation, developing it to, 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 to better than Dubai itself. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. You can tell that even our engineers are not innovative. They can't be innovative from nowhere. They can't think of anything better. Kutuda building you know glit. Tuda building yagata shibora. Tuda building yagata nge totois. Tuda build. This is what innovative <coughs> engineers do. So we need to create an education system that uh, opens uh, research and innovation. To our point, I'm not research and innovation. I'm going to point them that as a professor, Jonathan Moore, who would another other professor who has been to America, who has been to various countries. Can I we are professor? When you come, you to do a minister of information. I would have rather Zimbabwe must have only one radio station, only one TV station. Paninga aguta ragam vatu talks a hundred percent local content, hundred percent local content. Dear Joe, pakusha shuma jingles rambai makashinga, two minutes rambai makashinga, the whole day rambai makashinga. Kama kama ngwa na ngomandi ondio, one month do, two months do, six months do, two years do. Mchiri ziro rambai makashinga. But the person who is running the ministry is a professor. Ani mona. We need to do away with such type of people. People who are not innovative. People who do not understand the modern world. What does the modern world want? When we talk about research, what is it? What is research? What are we aiming to gain? We need to, to, to invest in research and innovation. To say, look, Loma Gundrud, what type of tad we need? How long? Type of lifespan? It will take 100 years with this tango We have got the, 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 the raw materials, we have got everything. So we need people to just do the research and we do the work. So make me president for this interim uh, government, then I'll come to Zimbabwe to form a government, you need to oversee to be normal. But what what was Zimbabwe just needs to be a normal country. Operate normally. Let people work. Zimbabweans must work. We are do you know do you know that you can know Singapore? You can know Singapore yeah. Could cause Singapore in the natural uh, natural resources are one. 
a good thing as sustainable say natural resource can know. But in a labor force is resources. One of Funga one they turned their economy into a first world country because of reasoning, because of thinking. Workforce Yavo Ruyagazit. Without any natural resource, without gold, without selling gold, without selling diamonds, but with their workforce. So Zimbabwe is a blessed country. It has got everything that is required for a nation to develop with a very good labor force, educated people. We've got all the natural resources. We've got everything. Very good weather, four seasons per year. I don't see why our country can't prosper. You don't see why Zimbabwe can't prosper. I don't see why that country can't prosper. I don't see why that country can have an economy uh, that can surpass even British economy. At one time, the Zimbabwe, Rhodesia economy or Zimbabwe economy was ahead of British economy. And that can still return if we have got a, 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 a president who knows what he wants. Who knows the vast amount of wealth Zimbabwe possesses. We cannot take that wealth or illegitimately earn that world, and then deposit it in Dubai. We go feed people in China. While Zimbabweans are starving, they've got no clinics, no hospitals in Zimbabwe. But our man is building hospitals in Dubai. Our man is building roads in Dubai. Our man is being, is being used in China, feeding Chinese who are about 1.4 billion people surviving on our natural resources. We are just less than 15 million people, but we are starving. Whilst our man is feeding about 1.4 billion people in, in China. So we need to reason. We need to think. This is high time, Zimbabweans, we should come together as a nation, then weed out or confront this cancer of organized crime. And these organized criminals, with their organized crime activity, they are feeding other nations from our natural resources. Because they are put here, they are not put here. Because you have to say, why you should participate in politics? You have to say, you have to say, because that person has seen a lot of assassinations in our country. He's seen a lot of incarcerations in our country. Political activists tragically being killed by Zimbabwe government. Opposition people encountering uh, massive violence, extensive violence. And the, and, and the whole country suffering from organized crime. Saga, Jesse is also... We have seen it, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we need to do as a nation? Our things, our wealth is being stolen. Our natural resources are being used uh, to feed Dubai, people in Dubai, are being used to feed uh, people in China. Grand theft of Zimbabwe gold that we owe if witness to buy playing a pivotal role in stealing or in stealing our money, a pivotal role laundering and smuggling of our gold. What can we do? Can we just sit and look whilst our gold is illegally being traded in Dubai? Our money is finding their way into individual people's pockets, particularly the executive branch. Sagaturamba Taganyara Rahire, whilst the country is conflicted like that. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, your gold, Zimbabwe natural resources, being traded in the Middle East. Zimbabwe, when I was driving, coming back home. I was talking to someone around the Arash Gans. Akunama Gates, Akunam Vura. Some other towns which are run by Zanupia. A good example is Karoi. The town is run completely dry. 
months and months without tap water. But no one not allowed to quarrel with the Triple C government. They are four years. The Triple C council has failed. Let's look at the councils that are being run by Zanu Pierre. A good example is Chinoi Municipality, Karoi Town Council, Kadoma Town Council, Chegutu Town Council. As we go down to Gweru Municipality, most of these cities that I have mentioned are run by Zanu Pierre. Akuna running water in the tap. Akuna markets. But when they talk about Feila, they go talk about Harare only. Whilst this country, these towns being run by Zanu Pierre, if run dry, and more, they've run dry not because our government is poor. No, our government is doing money laundering, losing seventeen point five billion every year, and more, selling our glittering mineral. Saga, there's a corruption. Yo yo, irukuitwa in the executive. In the executive branch, executive branch of our country, no, Murugutwa Uwori, one Ruguta or a Wese Iwo, and the Mon Sagatuita C. Nayo Nika is Zimbabwe. Twitter C. Nayo. Because some people, problem in Nema Zimbabwe in Zandaga owner, in the Egudi. Tangango kura, tiku chikoro bye bye. Tai chuzi ama subjects yekuwerenga. Wanu wakaverenga history a lot. Ne Bible. I think these are the people who understand politics. Isusu tukai tukaramba history. Tukaramba religious education. Tuka tuno tula na ma sciences. Tula kuda wana chemistry, biology, and so forth. As we move on. Tagaru, we lost interest in politics because we were aiming to be scientists. When I was growing up, I thought I would be a doctor. I wanted to be either a scientist or a doctor. So I've seen now that I've fulfilled one of my one of my ambitions of becoming a scientist and I'm now a scientist. So my understanding of politics could be limited, but Pandu ziva ipa apu, ndo pandu ziva. Because the executive branch of a country, which is being led by Emerson Damzu Mnangagwa, has got my primary functions. I think Mnangagwa, he doesn't understand that when you are the president of a country, my local government institutions, ESE, they are under your command or under your control. And Chamisa was right to represent Rudland. Nothing personal business chat. Zanu Pia Vyaga Guisa Rodija Asi. Wave Kujanao. And thank you, Mkoma Chichi. I was going to talk about that uh, that issue uh, at the end of this presentation. But anyway, since you have brought uh, that issue uh, to my attention, let me help Zimbabweans to understand a bit. Uh, Zanu PF is trying to divert your attention from the real issues of uh, gold mafia. They, they know Simon Rudland, his father was a Rhodesian minister, and Mark Miller and Mkangapoto was a Rhodesian soldier. Quite a lot, so they are trying to divert your attention to discuss issues. Uh, that's Nelson Chalmsaga, so represent uh, Simon Rudland. But let me make it clear, Kuvano, Varipanapo, so that you can go and help Varakashi. Could you document Ramurkona Ruksek Litwane Zanu Piev, Raganzi T, I mean a team of and Chamisa? That is not a legal document. That is an edited or photoshopped document. Because, well, in it, I'm privy to legal documents. Akuna court document, no type wagunzi team of and chamisa. Akuna shakadaro. Ask any lawyer. Ask any secretary of any lawyer. 
There is nothing like that. Saka muna aga traya kuisa stara president chamisa pakanzi team pof endi chamisa. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Kudi muna aga nga asinga ziwe uh, what does a legal document when you want to, uh, to mention an advocate. I don't mention what say. An advocate in any legal document I know it's what here the full initials and the same name. So can I just say that when that document recycled on the Munagari Gazira, hey, I have no knowledge of what a court document looks like. You cannot type an advocate's name with the Chamisa chat. Who's now the any what what Chamisa? So, no. So I was writing a document there. The but I don't know that it's a fake document. Ruins the present. Chamisa represent represented Rudland. In 2016, it's a fake document because if you look at it, it's written Tim Pof and Chamisa. Akuna Zagadar, which Chamisa are they referring to? Akuna legal document, Nonyor was Zagadar. When they are right, when you are writing a legal document, Ronnie Rons S N U D Shepard, Ronnie Rons, my full initials. Kunze E Devele and S N Yuda Mundo Manor War Noita Arino Runz E Devele and Yuda that becomes a fake document and it's not a true copy of the Rudland case. I think I've put that to rest. I've even gone to on Twitter and highlighted that Kwarakash who were overzealous that I must prove. To court documents, and I quote in the Kamboshanda by I quote Pai Pai. Uh, I really know, uh, could you could take a court document? This new or your was say, uh, I've got something again here. If I can, uh, if I can show, I've got something here that I can help you with, guys. The guy to one of the report a so that can now put our Kuarakashi Doa Batsira Doa Batsira writing for law, right? Yeah, I've got. Yeah, sorry, guys. I've got the book here. Can I go to Murakashi? Can I go to Murakashi? Another one's this is about uh, how writing for for law is like. Um, sorry, guys, I'm trying. Uh, the narrow book ratio. I can even uh, borrow a rakashi. The uh, one who understand that this. This topic, uh, this topic is a anemona. Ragan's writing for law. This book was written by Dave Powell. Dave Powell. That's Gavata Yeah, this book is written writing for law. Uh, it was written by Dave Powell. It has got a lot of things that you do when you're writing. Uh, writing my essays, my law essays, uh, problem questions, uh, your presentations. Uh, why are they different? Preparing the presentation, how to present a, a law document. And then moots, what are they? Moots, research for a moot, representing moot. And... Uh, Exam. Saga, it, it, it shows you how, um, how a document, a law document is written. Uh, what type of language is used when you are writing a law document or a legal document? Saga, this is probably a book that can help Warakashi. Kutikana a legal document how is that legal document written the way 
to I brand identification panel how uh, advocates identified in a law document. So this is a very good book uh, to start with. Uh, if they want to know uh, a lot about law documents, I renew Wegunzi a team of and the Chamisa uh, that shows you that the document is fake. It's not the original document of the Rudland case. Anyway, I was talking about the gold mafia, uh, the cancer uh, that the Zimbabweans have. We have got uh, um, uh, this um, organized crime in our country. It is a cancer. Organized country. Organized crime in our country is a cancer. And this cancer of organized country, uh, crime, we need to confront it as a nation. Even Warakashwacho, who have now admitted, would know uh, there is something wrong in our country, and uh, this issue must uh, really be investigated. Uh, so the problem is the executive branch, the leader of executive bra branch, who is the president of a nation, is deeply involved in this uh, organized crime of a nation. Imagine would uh, uh, organized crime it from office my president. Someone anima primary functions to make sure that the rule of law is executed in our country. The administration of the rule of law in our country. Rela relationship someone who should oversee relationship of branches of a government. Uh, last time that the problem against Zimbabweans is when E.D. Munangagwa came, he came from a background of sabotage. He's a trained saboteur. So he came from that background of sabotage. For him to brush aside his mind of sabotaging everything, he can't do it. He can't do it. He can't learn. Because he must ensure a very good relationship, uh, uh, working relationship of uh, government branches. So I have a minister of local government. You know what? You know, Ranama councils. Minister, they are not going to oversee my operations. Emma councils. And our point of minister is the president. But he will tell you that the chairman of the Triple C council is not going to be able to do He forgets that he is someone who should oversee uh, this good relationship of these branches, including. Uh, the councils, but he goes on to sabotage the councils that he lead. He, he appoint a minister to go and sabotage the councils. So he has already uh, diverted from the pr pr the primary functions of a president. Surprisingly, <coughs> 2023 elections, Zanu PF is bringing such type of a person to say this is the best president we want to run a country. There is no one who is best to run a country. They should have done good. He should have overseen the the, 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 the running of the councils. Can I go under it? Ayo, didn't I get rescue a council? Council yanga yata zashakat zashakat. Saka moda president yanga yata se. Ndi vote re yo is president. Because there is a money mo arare maani ma gates. Mune mvura yaka naka yaka yaka chena yekunwa. Town edu ya smart ma new buildings ya arugu simuka. Because of me as head of the councils. But he can't do that. He is sabotaging the council. He is telling you that could Akuna Kwasnenda's Chemozao Snopira of his house. And then tomorrow there is an election. That type of a saboteur is being sold to you as president of a country. I don't see Zimbabweans voting for Emerson Munanga. Even those who are drinking sewage today. Those who are suffering, going to Zipatara, Kusina Mishonga, Because the head of state is the head of the Minister of Education, is the head of the Minister of uh, Local Government. They under oversee how the, the relationship of these branches of government with the executive. So if he can't implement or uh, make sure that those branches work, he is not a competent president. He is an incompetent president. And for Zanu PF to bring such type of a person to say vote for Emerson Mnangago, it's an insult to the electorate. Because with all the powers he has, 
with all the resources of the country he has, he can't develop Zimbabwe. And Gawata or in Yamaya, I'm Fumira. I will be in a candy stand. Zagaoma, a Mugomachis. And then one. So, the president of a country must be an individual. That individual, and for one of my unique personalities, for you to say, yes, this is the type of person that Zimbabwe would want to, to, to vote. <coughs> and it's more. Because, and for now, the, we know uh, what is going in uh, Zimbabwe. President, can I get up and be a picture of a person? I'm going to corner the crying faces of the people of Zimbabwe. And for now, Ziva could President must have unique personalities. Someone who can quickly pick up could one and go on the Panaba, Varuchema Zar, Varuchema Zupata, Varuchema Zkor, Varuchema Vrekuno, Varuchema Magates. So five years he spent at Takura's cover. He never uh, delivered those things. But he has got guts to stand before you and, 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 and again. Uh, uh, campaign to, to be voted into power. If, what have you delivered that makes Zimbabweans uh, confident to vote you into office? Nothing. Five years, five wasted years. Ndara has no Tagorama private jet was to Tagorid, Agapeka scarf. As you point the one you beat Angel, would we meet him ambassadors at large? I show up on my red tape. Namely, I'm a big good rain and will reform the Rubrititimar. But what have you done to the country, to the nation as a whole? Nothing. So the presidents, the institution of presidents, both the president is an individual, but there is an institution of presidents. And on. the office that he occupies, it has got its own functional, primary functions. Could the office DH and the more legal foundation of presidential power and one come office. A good example is the constitution of Zimbabwe. When you are ele elected to lead the office of the presidents, that office alone, you are the custodian of our constitution. That office is the custodian of the constitution of Zimbabwe. So we don't expect to the organized crimes, they will be planned or plotted in that office because our constitution does not allow that so if you have got a president like emerson Mnangagwa, who let those uh, 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 those meetings done in his office relatives and friends involved in organized crime he has breached the constitution of a country and this is why Mnanga Gwa must be impeached. He must be told to set to 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 to, to, to set aside or must uh, uh, step down, allow investigations uh, to be carried out. Because what he has done is a criminal offense, allowing organized crime to be plotted in his office, appointing criminals, world criminals to run uh, as, as ambassadors, giving them Diplomatic passports and taps to tap our goal to say Begira Rabatwe is a diplomatic parcel and the more. So the president should be uh, founded on legal basis or founded on constitutional basis. That president's uh, office, you know, the president's, yeah, you know, in a constitution, Munangagwa should be an individual who oversee implementation of the supreme law of the country. But he is the one who is seen in the middle of organized crime with world known criminals. After that, ZANU PF has guts to bring Emerson Mnangagwa to be president, to, 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 to you, the electorate, to say, you must vote for this man. The, the, the president's that office it has got these powers of persuading and these people when they bring Mnanga as an individual to you to say I'm not rather occupy this president's Avana 
that persuasive language, what they use is violence. So if we don't confront that, there is nowhere we are going to let it fail. There is nowhere we are going to end violence in our country. But if you don't have to say anything, if you don't have to say anything, if you don't have to say freedom. You are all starving. Murunu wa suwe jimeisa. Apana anemba ino buda mvura. Yaka chena ne udu uruwe zaano. Apana anemba ino ma gates. Ininge ino ma gates ne udu uruwe zaano. We are suffering the same. Turugue na unotenga mpike npe itese. Unopina ma oke okay, iwo cha gashu gojisha itese. Kana shu gairi ma unamari ya chuki itenga. Iwe neni. Saka ahuna cha unufano naku mira ochi dipfe. We must stand up and confront this organized uh, crime in our country. And we must ensure that it ends. The only way it ends is to make sure that the president or the office of president is occupied by, uh, by someone. Achatora ma presidential power. Ano ziva zwa anu ita munyika. Because that, that office is the center of governance activity. Governmental activities. Office of the president is center of governmental activities, which has been turned into center of prostitution, which has been turned into center of money laundering, which has been turned into center of drug trafficking. Everyone in president's office is telling you that drug uh, uh, um, uh, um, gold mafia. Telling you about money laundering, getting involved about in drug trafficking, extortion, murder, prostitution, bank frauds, everything uh, that are not supposed to be <coughs> presidential have been found in this office of the president. And instead of that office to be center of governmental activities, it has been turned into center of Ill illegal activities that has mirrored Zimbabwe. To about 17.5 uh, billion every year. Imagine from 2000 to 2023, 23 years, if we were injecting 17.5 billion in our economy every year, Zimbabwe would be better than Dubai. Zimbabwe would be a mean America in Africa. Bora, even sport that was banned, every major city in our country has got a national stadium. Munchi no inga da emne stadium ya gaipa. Mukari banga da emne stadium ya 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 kangu fana ne zaga wako kata. Mugueru wa fana kupindo chona stadium. Mulupane wa fana kona stadium inochiki sa mulupane. All our major towns from 17.5 billion a year would have major stadiums. Inga da ti sana rumbo banu waka na bora. Wano wa shiwo tamba bora wa shiwo na bora. Yes, it's going to cup of Africa cup of nations. Zimbabwe is not there. There is World Cup. Zimbabwe is not there. But we are talking of a president, a president with his president being involved in non-governmental activities, particularly man laundering or this organized crime. That must stop. We must confront it as Zimbabweans. If we don't confront it as Zimbabweans, definitely akuna kwa trukuenda senyika. Trukuenda kupi senyika. We are head of state is the boss of man laundering. We are head of state. Is the is, is the cancer that we cry about. Organized crime. Where someone who should be the symbol of national unit goes around achitukawana. Muchingo bukura. Tichingo tonga. Muchingo bukura. Mangwana wenda wetu. Muchingo bukura. Tichingo tonga. He's not the figurehead of a government that we want. He has failed to deliver symbolic functions of a government. And I wonder why Zanupiev are selling an incompetent person to the, to the country to say he must be head of state. He must be head of government. He must be chief executive or administrator of this country. He must lead government agencies. We don't understand why. Kanotiti zanupia viru kudere ira ere. 
Because this is someone and for now direction to the national policies. Sakanaona so someone who should give direction to the national policies are deeply involved in organized crime. Where are we going as a, as a, as a, as a country? Our country has a leadership crisis. It's so surprising that Zanu PF people are mobilizing support for such an incompetent person who has spent five years with a scarf without idea, with no idea, with no plans of a, a good Zimbabwe. Someone with powers to appoint chief diplomats. Someone who is the commander-in-chief of our army. A supreme commander of our defense forces. Who has got no clue. Ugaonama soja mariza wano ora Unonzi wa tsiti. Our armed forces are starving. Imagine if Zimbabwe engages in a war today with the quality of the armed forces we have. Any country that will invade Zimbabwe, you know, go itora today. Wano kupinda na asoro tura nyiga wako to itonga. Because atina a quality force now it has the strength of Zimbabwe army as compared to South Africa. The equipment that we have for use if we are engaged in a, in a war, we don't have what is required as a modern army. We don't have. But we produce 17.5 billion yen from natural resources. Wana forge, wana gold, Wana, 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 wana diamond. But our army is starving. Our soldiers have got no pay. Kona marids wano ura, unonzi wa tsitsi. Kona marids no ura, wanema doctors, manesis, unonzi wa tsitsi. Wanda kuchipatra, hakuna gana parasita mwakuna. Ma operations, you cannot be operated when there is no electricity. Wanda wanema conditions and other operations, they can't be operated. There is no electricity. Ma gesa ano enda dingu matumbu wari panze wanachire mba washi zama kubatana za matumbu. Usha fema ne mishini mishinji no shandis kwa mumutieta kana kuma intensive care unit no shanda ni magetzi. Sipatala shina magetzi dingu wa enda wanachire mba warada wako operate. Unofa. Saka what we need to do as the people of Zimbabwe. We need to confront this cancer we call organized crime. That is destroyed our country. Uga bunza murakashe shnuzi. Why about corruption? Now we are. They no longer talk about corruption. They no longer talk about corruption. With the word they saw, I mean, I mean, they no longer talk about sanctions. They used to talk about sanctions destroying our, our nation. If the sanctions allow Zimbabwe to produce one point seventeen point five billion. These are beautiful sanctions. These are very good sanctions, which allow a country under sanctions to realize from its natural resources 17.5 billion annually. And if it is ingested in the economy, So if Emerson Munanga was a speech on inauguration, when he came back, from South Africa and he took over Mugabe's, uh, to Mugabe's term to finish Mugabe's five year term. What he said when he said the voice of the people are the voice of God. Though Pano Fanero could be a moral spokesperson of the people. When you know that the voice of the people is the voice of God, you are, you hear, you should automatically have, you should be. The moral spokesperson of what of the people of Zimbabwe. Because your right to lead has been conferred on you. You have got the right to lead. Even your political party should be proud of you. When Arum Zanu, they are no longer proud of Emerson Nanga. Since the, uh, the this uh, uh, gold mafia episodes were released and shown to the world. Now they need to act decisively in ZANU-PF as a part. If they don't 
act decisively, the part will go into, in, into extinction. I am telling you, I am warning you. Once you lose power, there is nothing like ZANU PF that will rise again. Believe me. The disruption you have caused to the peace of Zimbabwe, the disruption you have caused to the economy of our country, utilizing these uh, um, uh, 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 organized crimes. If ZANU PF lose 2023, you will never hear about ZANU PF again. Mark my words. Because if President Nelson Chamisa is voted in power, into power, he is a God-fearing character. Someone, someone I don't hesitate to call protect of peace. I've known Nelson Chamisa for a number of years. Even before he became leader of the opposition, he was leader of Warare Youth. I've known him since 1999. Since I, I've known Nelson Chamisa, I've known him as protector of peace. A person who quickly brings things in order. A person who ensures that any disruption of peace is averted early, 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 early. Despite a lot of people trying to push, trying to force him to react. Last time I saw even Warakash, Wajidi Chamisa is useless. Wajidi Taura about uh, job scholars incarceration. Yet these people, they are just trying to force or to ignite some. They are fed up with Emerson Mnangagwa. So they need to use Chamisa as a springboard to remove Emerson Mnangagwa. Warakash Chacha, they are fed up. This is why you see they are pushing President Nelson Chamisa to say, can you quickly put your house in order and uh, ensure you confront um, uh, this cancer we call Emerson Mnangagwa. But as a manager of prosperity, President Chamisa has remained calm, has remained steadfast. He knows his responsibilities are coming. He is going to maintain a robust economy of our country. Let's wait and see. I am telling you, I'm not prophesizing, but I am telling you what is ahead of you guys. We're going to be a better country than Dubai. Dubai is a very small country. We've got vast land, we've got minerals, we've got everything. We're going to build an amazing Zimbabwe. An amazing Zimbabwe. Because if you elect Nelson Chamisa today, you've elected a world leader. Believe me and mark my words. Keep this video. If Chamisa wins this presidency, you have elected a, 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 a world leader. Someone who will take an active role in leading world politics. I wish he was a Mozambican. If you go to Zambia, they tell you, we wish he was Zambia. If you come to the United Kingdom, they tell you, we wish that boy was British. They would straight throw him into the president's office. He would straight grab the prime minister's office in the United Kingdom. I've overheard a lot of people saying, oh, we wish he was British. So we have got someone in our country with the potential to become a world leader. With the potential to lead world politics. Someone every country emulate. So why can't we utilize him as Zimbabweans? Let's give him the roles of being an executive leader. Where he, he will oversee execution of the constitution of a country. He automatically becomes the leader or commander in chief of our defense forces to maintain peace and order in our country. Which is non-existing. Under the scarf moors, the scarf men, there is no peace and order in our country. Where criminals will attack, will, 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 will raid a, a, a political rally, blush on people to death. They are arrested and released. You take an innocent member of parliament 
and incarcerate him for 300 days. When criminals, murderers are walking scotty free, then someone will tell you that we've got peace and order in our country, which is not a non existing. So we need a God fearing man. We need Ch Nelson Chamisa. We need to give him roles to say, You lead the executive. When you lead the executive, become a commander in chief of the defense forces. And there is the uh, 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 peace and order that needs to be maintained by you. And more. So, Shaka Wanda, so I think it's Chemira, Kudwacha Misawaiti overlook the administrative of the country. He, became, he, he will be the chief administrator of our country. Chamisa has got this personality of a president which lacks in any ZANU PF member. Ndanzwa Kasikwira Jinyora Sevias. Ashtaura Kuti. Amen Shangashtaura Zakutunga Zubita say. Ndamutara and Gati Vagasikwere. You've got an unlikened personality of you. You can't be a very good president. Because if you sit down, Kasukwere, wherever you are, sit down and think deeply. Where is Itai Zamara? Where did you put Itai Zamara? And you watch Itai Zamara's family every single day, searching for their father. The wife searching for her husband. But you really know where you put Itai Zamara. Why can't you just tell the family where they can go and recover even his remains so that the chapter can be closed? You can't be a president in that country. No. Kasikwere can't be a president. Because we are asking him, Maga isa kupi mwana, itai zamara, maga muisa kupi. Amuna tzitere, amuna moya, Amuna moyo kubereka ere. Amuru waziwe ere. Kuna mkazi wakati chema day and night. Kuchaga utaye magaisa kupi. Kana maga uraya mtumbi wake uripaye. Nguwa uzai muwape mtumbi wake. Kudimurumi unyari pakati ndai mnutura. Then toko wana kasikuero wawuya. Ushitawara do you want to be a president of Zimbabwe. Auna this personality that it takes for you. To be the 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 the, the, uh, the 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 president of that country, Auna. Auna, because a president is someone we call a chief legislator of a nation. Someone, I know some policies, <coughs> and a right to veto, is as it is. Because we entrust you with the constitution of the country. You will be the political chief of the country. With the amount, with the with the with the, 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 the personality that Kasikwere has, can't it, can't it be a political leader in, in that country? Maganzo, what time is up? Twenty eighteen elections. When we were towards twenty eighteen elections, nakambo funga, nakambo garapasi, nakuta wa raichokwadi. I I think President Chamisa, they want to get it right back. This president of ours, Anunzi Chamisa, Arkutoramba to be partisan. He is refusing to be a partisan leader. Because Taimuda Chamisa could have a moon, we do a triple, we go MDC alliance. We will march into him, into his presidency with Alpha Nokita, we do take guys who MDC alliance. Says Amurgunz on or Popotrana, who pulled or took an anachin, one word out of Chamisa, I will wait to take Gaku Tripusi. But this leader we have in Nelson Chamisa has refused that. He said he's not into partisan politics. He is not a partisan political leader. He's the leader of a citizens of a nation. So, Utikanaga, we now president Washington has. I don't want to appoint him. Nanga go home to be minister of of defense, because Chamisa is not a political, a, a, a partisan political leader. He's a national leader. He is someone. He is the missing link 
between God and the world, between God and Zimbabwe. Chamisa is the missing link between God and Zimbabwe. So good to marry a fura training guys in Babu, Barbuda lead and watch can was you. Could I like to connect with the with, with our country? So Chamisa refused to be partisan political leader. He said he is the leader of a nation, he is the leader of the citizens of a country, whether you are ZANU, whether you are MDC, whether you are Triple C, whatever uh, uh, political party you belong to. You belong to Nelson Chamisa. He is above this partisan political partisan politics. Nagadi president in because we wanted to push him into our own. Tega is Tega. I am a very good example. I don't need to chamisa Ali Wangu in never triple C Tega. But unfortunately, um Darajagaramba. I got around, no, 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 Judah. And then I'm the leader of the citizens of this country. Whether you are ZANU, whether you are Triple C, whether you are MDC, I'm the leader. Because someone pointed to me. She goes, Uno Ziva Ere. Could Chamisa, dear Akawona Munzora, Achi, it a revive political career. Because political career ya mwanzura yanga ya afa kwa mtari. He was booed in mtari. Wana wakata kumuruwa. President wakata wakata nao. Kana maa kubua. Secretary General. Ini na nishata uri ndu zoki rao kwa harari. Wanu ndupa wanu waka sunyarara. Allowed mwanzura to address them. Muka enda kugweru kukungris. Mwanzura haka enda haka posaru wane wano. Pakafa mdara chamizi mdara changirai. Munzuraga enda ka posaru wa nevano. So the only man who made Munzura survive in MDC is President Nelson Chamisa. Because he is not a partisan political leader. He is a national leader. Someone who leads even he, those who, 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 who criticize him. And more. Today, is leading a very successful political organization which which owes allegiance to the citizens of a country not allegiance to his personality so what i'm saying here is something that should in, should nudge you into action to say look what must we do as the people of a country Faced uh, with this cancer of organized crime, can we allow Mnangagwa to continue running the country? Which is a no no. Can we allow Zanu PF to continue plundering our country with those former Rhodesians, the Rudlands, the Macmillan? Or Zanu PF will come to you, Chamsaru Tengsanyika Kumabunu. If you sit down and think the Bunurim Triple C in the end, Bunuruguba Golden Triple C in the You come to a, to a conclusion that look, Munanga Gwa himself is the one who has taken the country into the into the, the, the Rhodesians' hands. Mark Milan, the Rudlands, the Achonzana, Rottenberg, and so forth. So we need a president. The president's office is vacant. The personality Yamnanga Gwa is not exactly is what Chamisa has shown. Chamisa has shown to be a president who will ensure when powerful decisions need to be made or major decisions need to be made, they are led to be made by the people of Zimbabwe. Because once you let the people decide, then you are, you are ruling by the majority. The society that Chamisa leads is the society that is going to make major decisions in his government. He is not going to run the country by state machinery, uh, like by state machinery, the CIO, the what? Those people must, the CIOs must be left to defend the nation.
must be left to do their job, not to be politicized, not to be used as killing machines, not to be used for money laundering, not to be used for murder, not to be used to extort money from poor citizens, not to be used into prostitution. Mama say, oh, because if you are a spy agent, Information I share dying go up, can we get our peace together? Cannot cannot make sense of it. The CIO today they hold the wrong information. They are so sad. We don't need that. We need the CIO to look into the intelligence of a nation, protect the nation. 17.5 billion cannot be lost. 15 billion from diamonds cannot be lost whilst we've got an intelligence agents in our country. Failure of those people is failure of the state. And the failure of the state is failure of the executive branch. It's failure of the president. I think I think I the president and go from back at a good scarf Musurum Sinachunu. At Chad is also. At Chad. Ugul Karaga Funga Dogu Kutonga Nigan Vatanga Funga the military. Gatore Masoja, Kumbai Troy, at Chad is also. At Chad, the Tagda President, one dog at a world in Yika, one of the funnels, the Ogden of Anagua, never know in Yika. Vanavi Zimbabwe Vese must benefit from its world. And the man. Even when I'm talking, I, I can't spare the vice president. Was the person who's the vice president now was the uh, commander of the defense, was the, 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 the commander of uh, uh, army who managed to remove Mugabe to become vice president, who has got input in the establishment of the cabinet and its departments. We cannot leave him. What, we, what I'm saying, appealing to the people of Zimbabwe, is let's come together, despite of political affiliation. What you have seen now, it's enough for you to confront the cancer of organized crime. And the organized crime is done in the office of a president, who is the head of state, who is the commander-in-chief of the army, who is involved with the world's known gangsters, the mafia, People we have caused the suffering worldwide. He has given them dominance of our political system, given them dominance of our government, given them positions of strength, ambassador at large, who can simply take a red tape and his uh, uh, diplomatic passport, fly anything he wants. He can fly a bomb to and from Dubai. No one will ask him. Because he has been, he's in a position of strength. has been given this position of strength by the head of state who is the boss in this uh, organized crime. And the moment. Sagati Shitaura would, the leadership of Zimbabwe must be something that should never be tested by Emerson Mnangagwa. He has tried today to campaign to win an election using the various institutions of the society. He has used the church, he has used the military, the media, the business, various institutions of our society. He has even threatened the NGOs that if you don't campaign for me, I'll close you down. He has established political clans that make sure that he abuses his power. And the man, Sagana Shitaura Panaba, Lord Mbatemas, Akayimbuga, na Kumared, at Gaitimuti Kumred Lena de Shakat. Yodikana and the Shaura, Bataimaz, Kuitira Mangwana, Tashka Mangwana and Agambotaura. 
this presentation is and look to our panel that I must tower of Dara because I've got desire to see a country that does not take its citizens as slaves. I've got desire to see a country where Zimbabweans or its citizens sacrifice, willingly sacrifice themselves to free their nation, to stop organized crime in the president's office. I'm the chief opponent of organized crime. If it means someone to play the role of a president until uh, elections are held, because obvious, Monzora uh, challenged the delimination. If the Supreme Court is true that they uh, they have been instructed by Mnangagwa to, to 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 cancel the delimination, that means elections won't won't go ahead. But the cabinet will be dissolved. Was the elect mandate to continue under such circumstances? So the country would need um, an interim executive to run the affairs of a country for six months whilst people will be uh, preparing for a, f a general election. And it needs some, for that period needs someone who is untainted to lead the government, to lead my functions or, or to perform the role of a president. president So by that time but it was someone who makes sure that the laws of a country are enforced. And the constitution of the country is enforced upon the people. So we need someone to act in a chief diplomacy why someone to act as a chief legislator uh, of, of a country and it more saka paka ipa because we cannot leave the country without a chief a commander in chief we need someone to step in into those shoes and act as a commander in chief of that country Saka taku enda pan pari krucial. Taku taura nyaya zekuti. Taku da chief of state. Simbu of Zimbabwe. Muna asiri tainted. Chino rwa zawa no yue zanu piev. They are bringing Mdara um, Mnangagwa. This is our candidate for 2023. They don't understand that the president's office is a, a very important position in a nation which determines what uh, which determines quality of uh, individual who should occupy that uh, that, that that position. And the more Sagawarume Tashiga. I don't want to take long uh, telling you most of the things that you guys understand. That when we get to that extent, I'm I'm here for you. I'm here to assist you. I am here to assist you with government operations and so forth. We need to run the business of a country. But I have said here that the President Nelson Chamisa must be the only person who is supposed to be voted into office to make sure that the cancer of organized crime goes good night. Good night.